So when you talk about the Budwig diet, a lot of people, like you mentioned, think it's just flax oil and cottage cheese. But in a, in a bigger picture, is it is it just getting healthier fats and, and other healthy foods? Is that what it That's is? That's a big part of it, yeah. Um, you know, her, it really, it's not the Budwig diet, it's the Budwig protocol. But it involves a lot of these things. It involves taking out unhealthy foods, putting in healthy fats, um, eating whole foods, right? Um, in terms of vegetarianism, she was... Uh, it, it leaned toward vegetarianism, but it didn't have to be. She really emphasized the importance, if you're going to eat meats, that it has to be, basically, in our words today, organic, right? Mm -hmm. Free-range, organic, uh, naturally produced meats. But um, also, sunlight was a big thing in her protocol. That was mm -hmm. um, one of the big topics that she always talked about, kind of the, the biophysics of sunlight. And a little more esoterically, she was talking about how... Uh, sunlight interacts with the foods that you put in your body because these plant pigments, they naturally interact with sunlight in nature. And when you put them into your body, um, they also have, it, according to her, these plant pigments and, and, and the, the vital oils that you put in your body, uh, omega-3s and 6s that aren't damaged by the production process, aren't damaged by heat, these things interact with sunlight uh, and turn sunlight into a pro-biological force rather than an anti-biological force. So it benefits your body. Can you discuss that a little bit more and, and the power of the sun, at least according to the, the Budwig protocol, um, and how much of an effect it's had lately in the fact that we're not supposed to go on the sun because it's damaging. We're supposed to slather on the sunscreen and, and what those things do, uh, you know, in, against the Budwig protocol. Well, you know, I think sunlight is very important, uh, taken responsibly. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the thing with sunlight, and I think it's, two main things, uh, two main components uh, in terms of the benefits of sunlight. And uh, one of them is vitamin D, right? Because mm -hmm. that's one source of vitamin D. That's a, a huge source of vitamin D, is that your skin, that you, your body synthesizes it when you get sun exposure. Uh, we know that you know, vitamin D, for instance, uh, causes cancer cells to commit suicide, right? It's, it's one of the most important uh, cancer-fighting vitamins that we have in our body. And you know, a lot of researchers say that uh, if we were to keep our vitamin D levels in optimum range, that we could prevent a lot of different cancers. But the second thing, and this is kind of, uh, this is kind of overlooked, is the role of sunlight itself, not just the vitamin D. Because now um, there's been a study looking at um, sunlight, taking sun, in relation to heart disease. And these researchers found that it benefited heart disease. And it wasn't just because of the vitamin D. They controlled that out. It, it was actually because of the UV rays, because... When the sun hits your skin, it, gener it helps your body generate nitric oxide. Mm -hmm. And this is one of the most important chemicals in your body that helps to promote proper circulation, good circulation. And when you talk about it in terms of cancer, it's, really, it's, it's one of the important variables, in my opinion. Uh, because cancer cells tend to make energy um, in a very inefficient way. Right? They, they upregulate glycolysis. They take in sugar. They put out a lot of metabolic waste in the form of lactic acid. And this metabolic waste, when it accumulates, it has a lot of damaging effects, right? It can promote metastasis. Uh, it can actually hide tumors from immune detection, right? So when you look at, it, when you look at circulation in that sense, um, you see that um, it's really important to maintain that, that metabolic landscape, to keep the fluids around your cells uh, from accumulating these metabolic wastes, and that's a very important variable. But in terms of uh, sunscreen, you know, I think it, it, you don't want to burn. Definitely. You don't want to get sunburn. But I think most people, you know, you should probably get around 15, 20 minutes, probably every other day. It really depends. I mean, if, you're, if your skin's darker, you might need more. Uh, really, ultimately, the best way to do it is to get vitamin D levels tested. That's really how you know how much you need. But definitely, you know, if, if you're going to be out in the sun a lot, definitely, you know, either cover yourself or use a good natural sunscreen. But other than that, yeah, sun's very important. We, sh we shouldn't be using sunscreen all the time. That's definitely, I don't think that's a good idea.